Hello, Dr. Jeff Johnson coming to you from Denver, Colorado. Uh, today I would like to go over uh, something that happened to me last week and it's happened not frequently in my career but it does happen um, and that's when when you go to NAMA lower jaw uh, people complain that their eye is numb and they can't blink. Uh, so I wanted to go over the nerve mapping today uh, over uh, how this happens. Um, so when we go to numb patients, uh, we numb them uh, right in this area here, and this is called the trigeminal nerve, and we nerve we, we numb the lower nerve and the, the nerve that goes to the tongue. And sometimes when the anesthetic gets deposited back here, um, it also ha can numb the facial nerve. And the facial nerve goes up to the, it's a motor nerve that, uh, that runs motor movement for muscles. Um, up into the eye, below the eye, around the nose, and around the upper upper lip. So, um, you know, like I said, we deposit our anesthetic right right in here, and sometimes this anesthetic can be uh, deposited around the facial nerve area, which uh, can cause these uh, symptoms. It's uh, usually not a big deal, uh, but uh, the patients tend to uh, get kind of anxious. Uh, you know, their their eye eye muscles numb. Um, it, it's it's just a the facial nerve is just a nerve that innervates uh, uh, muscles around the eye. It has nothing to do with eyesight or any of that. Um, but once the anesthetic wears off, uh, usually this all wears off and things can return back to normal. Um, but it does it, it it can happen sometimes in dentistry where the facial nerve uh, gets gets. Uh, numbed. So I just wanted to explain that to everybody and uh, we'll make another video about another topic soon. Thanks. Bye -bye.